this is the question asked by one of my student so here the data given is a compound beam is made by welding of two steel plates of 116 to 12 mm one on each flange of an ISLV that is Indian standard low weight beam 300 section find the moment of inertia of the section passing through its centroidal x axis moment of inertia of ISLV 300 about x axis is 73.329 into 10 to the power 6 mm to the power 4 so we have to find out first we will draw the figure so it is given that compound beam is made compound beam means more than two so it is made by welding of two steel plate one six steel plate dimension is given 116 to 12 mm one on each flange of an ISLV 300 section so first we will draw an ISLV 300 section ISLV 300 means its total depth is total depth of the beam is 300 so this data is given so here the total depth is 300 mm so this data is given next two steel plates of 116 to 12 mm is welded one on each flange so this is the wave this is the flange so two steel plates are welded on two flange so it's 160 mm and this thickness is 12 mm so these are welded to this flange on both sides. So this side also 160 into 12. This is 160 mm and this side it is 12 mm. So now we draw the composite beam. So next it is asked that find the moment of inertia of the section passing through its centroidal x axis so suppose the centroid is at this point so centroidal x axis we have to find out the moment of inertia about this axis and it's given that moment of inertia of this section this ISLV 300 about x axis is 73.329 in 10 to the power 6 mm to the power 4 so as you can see this section is symmetric so it is symmetric about both y axis and symmetric about x axis so the center of gravity will lie at the at both x and y axis and at its middle so the center of gravity will lie at its middle so we don't need to calculate the center of gravity as it is symmetric about both x and y axis so its center of gravity will obviously lie at its middle so this side also middle that side also middle so we know the center of gravity now the y dimension we know so we'll draw the axis So it is given that moment of inertia of this section about x this axis is this much. So we will first find out the moment of inertia of these two steel plates about its centroidal axis. So these are rectangular sections so its centroid will lie at its middle. So what will be the moment of inertia we will calculate along x axis. So we have to find out moment of inertia along this axis. So what will be the moment of inertia of this uh, steel plates about its center of gravity? That is BHQ by 12. 
सो बी एस इज वन सिक्सटी इंटू ट्वेल्व होल क्यू डिवाइडेड बाई ट्वेल्व सो दिस इज अबाउट इट सेंट्रोडल एक्सिस बट वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया अबाउट द सेंट्रोडल एक्सिस ऑफ दिस कंपोजाइट सेक्शन विच इज लाइंग एट इट्स मिडिल सो एट फ्रॉम हियर फ्रॉम द टॉप ऑफ दिस स्टील प्लेट इट्स लेंथ इज वन सिक्सटी फ्रॉम दिस बॉटम इट्स सॉरी वन फिफ्टी फ्रॉम दिस बॉटम इट इज वन फिफ्टी प्लस ट्वेल्व सो वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया अबाउट दिस एक्सिस सो वी हैव टू यूज पैरल एक्सिस थियोरम सो वट इज द मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया अबाउट दिस एक्सिस दैट इज इक्वल टू मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया अबाउट सेंट्रोडल एक्सिस प्लस एरिया ऑफ दिस क्रॉस सेक्शन दैट इज वन सिक्सटी इंटू ट्वेल्व into square of the distance between parallel axis so what is the dis this distance up to this this is at its middle means up to this it is at 6 and here to here it is at its middle means 150 so what is this distance 6 plus 150 that is 156 so 156 whole square so this is the moment of inertia of this steel plate about this centroidal axis we have found using parallel axis theorem similarly this section is also symmetric and this section is equivalent to this section so its moment of inertia about this axis will also be same so moment of inertia of this steel section will be also this value so this is suppose this is section 1 i will take this whole section this is 2 and this is 3 so i 2x x is equal to i 3x x is as both the sections are equivalent and symmetric so that value we will calculate and the third one the moment of inertia of i 1 that is the isl with 300 section is given about its centroidal axis along x axis so that value is 73. E to nine into ten to the power six mm to the power four. So, what is the total moment of inertia of this whole composite section? All uh, about the composite section about this axis. So, it will be the summation of moment of inertia of this section about this axis and this section about this axis and this section about this axis. So, it will be I about x x is equal to. We'll calculate what is I to x x is. So I two x x is equal to y I three x x is. So we'll take two times I two x x is plus I one about x x is. That is seventy three point three two nine into ten to the power six mm to the power four. So we'll calculate the value. So I have calculated this value. This value is forty-six uh, point. This one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Forty-six point seven four eight into ten to the six mm to the power four. So this is the moment of inertia of the steel plates about the centroidal axis. So the whole moment of inertia about the centroidal axis and along x axis is. Two times the moment of inertia of this steel plate along its centroidal axis plus the moment of inertia of this ISL with three hundred section about this centroidal x-axis. So I'll cal I have calculated the value. So it's two into forty six point seven four eight one six into ten to the six mm to the power four plus seventy three point three two nine into ten to the six mm to the power four. So I got this. Total moment of inertia of this composite section along x centroidal axis is one sixty six point eight two five three into ten to the six mm to the power four. So this is the answer.